x to the power minus m is 1 by x to the power m. That is 5 to the power minus 3 is equal to 1 by 5 to the power 3. x by y to the power minus m is y by x to the power m. This is again just an extension of the formula that we have just seen. Square root of x to the power a is equal to x to the power a by 2. That is, if you are given the square root of 5 to the power 4, that will be equal to 5 square because 2 is 4 divided by 2. The mth power of x can be represented as x to the power 1 by m. Similarly, the value of the nth power of x to the power m is equal to the nth power of x to the power m which is equal to x to the power 5 by n. That is, if you are asked to calculate the cubeth root of 5 to the power 6, this is equal to 5 to the power 6 by 3 which is equal to 5 square. Similarly, the last question is that if x to the power a is equal to x to the power b, it would imply that a is equal to b whenever x is not equal to 1. When x is not equal to 1, x to the power a is equal to x to the power b would imply that a is equal to b.